All right, welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3 100%. In the last part, I <coughs> I drove an RC car. Hey, the moon. It suddenly got smaller. Anyway, in this part, I'm now going to start accepting missions from Joey when the time is right. Shit. Okay, so within a, four, a few short seconds, I should be able to accept this mission. And also with a car I just stole. So, anyway, my plan is to be able to accept a couple of this guy's missions and then work on one of the more long side quests in this game. So anyway, let's take Joey's mission. Mike Lip's last lunch. When you gonna drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, you won't be in forever. You know, the Crouton 9000 is the greatest computer in the history of the world. But anyway, so the mission is very basic. Steal the guy's car and then plant a bomb on it. Again, this seems, uh, I, I, th I guess it's just a symptom of it being a very early mission in the game where it's trying to teach you about very basic mechanics such as actually being able to plant a, a, plant a bomb in, uh, whoa, uh, such as being able to plant a bomb on someone's car. But I guess that's the uh, usefulness of the of 8-Ball's bomb shop. I always used to wonder like who 8-Ball was because I actually played Vice City first. Uh, and I was like, who the fuck is this 8-Ball guy? And then I actually played Grand Theft Auto 3, and I was like, oh, that's who it is. Alright. And also, 8-Ball's bomb shop is like the most conspic- is like the most conspicuous place. Or, or, or inconspic- I forgot which version was which. But anyway, like, it's like the least hidden place possible. Well, I guess that's kind of the- yeah. It's like, car accessories and upgrades. So yeah. Actually, that might just be the, the actual cover. But then again, why would he go under the name he usually goes by? He was arrested. Wouldn't the cops be waiting here? Anyway, uh, a side detail that they didn't tell you, uh, they didn't tell, um, tell me, is that you cannot damage his car at all. Well, that, not at all. You can get, like, minor dings, but... Ah, I hate that the songs keep repeating on this. But anyway, um... You can get minor dings, but, uh... <clears throat> but, uh, if you get, get too much damage, you have to pay and spray his car. And presumably, you tell the guys, hey, same color. But... Whoa. By the way, if you, uh, even though I said before you can't turn when you're doing this, uh, the thing is, if you drive with the right, uh, uh, there, there's two ways to control your car. One is like the more typical, uh, oh, shit, how do I do this? Shit. I keep forgetting how to turn this on. Oh, yeah. Uh, the click button. But, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, if you use the, instead of WASD, uh, if you control using the arrow keys, you can actually use uh, Q and E for uh, uh, being able to spot, to look to the left and right. Nicely placed sign. Also, I have never seen a car of this color in this game. I take it that this is just a side effect of the mod. That because you would normally never see a car of this color. But yeah, this uh, Sentinels and Mafia Sentinels in particular drive super fast. Like, for a boxy car, you wouldn't think it would go very fast. But yeah, pretty brisk. Anyway, let's keep going with Joey's missions. Farewell, Chunky Lee Chong. That almost sounded racist. 
Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Colombia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Yeah, again, minor tutorial. Well, like, obviously we know how to use a gun at this point. I think that's probably just going to be a bit trickier because uh, if I remember this mission correctly, it's a bit more obstacle coursey to get to this guy than other missions. Another thing is just the idea of another gang that's uh, against us. And apparently this guy has... Whoa! This guy has bodyguards. Sweet design on the side. Whoa! Apparently he knew we were coming. What the hell was that? Oh yeah. So yeah. I take it that the actual mission was supposed to start, or like the la latter half of the mission was supposed to start with us chasing him when he's in this uh, when he's in this whatever the hell this is. And yeah, it's supposed to probably be I'm almost certain this was the tutorial mission for the drive by attack. Which is just you look here and attack. But obviously since I know how to sprint, I don't have to do that. Let's keep going. What? Whoa, okay. Hold up. Wait, what the fuck? I saw a secure car coming this way. Where did it go? Yeah, I saw a secure car and I was going to take it to the... To the freaking... <coughs> to the import-export garage, but... It fucking disappeared! Did you guys see that shit? Holy shit. Wait. Oh, no. It's not a... I thought it was an armored car. It isn't. It's just a... I think it's a rumpo. Wait. What? What is it? No, it's a moonbeam. But anyway, let's go back to Joey. All right, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. Speaking of the armored car, we gotta take one. But unfortunately, well, I guess I could just like say fuck it and just sing, uh, take it to the import-export garage, but it doesn't seem like the best of ideas, and I'm pretty sure there's already, like, uh, algorithms put into the game so that it can't do, so that you can't do that, like a, like an asshole. So, yeah, almost, I think almost every time I've done this, my car has gone into flames, so... Let's see... Let's see if I can, uh, who goes first. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to get a car. A lot. Jesus. Yep, okay. I gotta, I gotta find a car really quick. Alright. I don't know when these guys bail the car. I think it's about halfway through. A really tricky part after that is that you have to maintain the... Is that once you take the car, you have to keep it in decent condition. Because, yeah, obviously it can also burst into flames. Why would you ask Jesus to get out of your way? If he's stopping you, it's probably a good reason. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you, officer. <laughs> Love that. When's coffee break? Yeah, as I said, you gotta make sure the damage is minimized now. Fuck! 
crap, I ran over a cop, so now I'm gonna have a helicopter on me. Shit. This is gonna be rough. Oh, man. The cop being, or the helicopter, now that I'm driving, won't be that much of a problem, but if I was on foot, it would be a big issue because the helicopter just shoot at you. And it does maintain, and, it, and uh, it will mean that, uh, w will mean that cops will always know where you are. Oh, by the way, once you're here, yeah, the cops just forget about you. It's like a cheat code. I'm recording this, officer. What assholes? Christ. To serve and protect their best interests. El Burro wants to offer us an opportunity. And you know what? We're gonna take it. Alright. Over the top entrance. Right to the payphone. So, yeah, continuing this, uh theme of episodes. Now we got we're going to take some calls from a payphone. This is El Boro at the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. Alrighty then, so, uh, yeah, so pretty much this entire mission is just, let's have a race, dogs. The, uh, now, in San Andreas, they really expanded on this by having, actually, no, in Vice City, they expanded on it, and then in San Andreas, they really expanded on it. With the, an insane amount of races in San Andreas, and a pretty good amount of shit. And a pretty good amount of uh, races in uh, in Vice City, but here I don't think there's that much races, which is actually kind of surprising. I think it's just like they were like messing around with the sandbox idea and didn't really think, oh, people might just want to drive around all the time anyway. Oh my God, I forgot that these guys had really nice cars. Holy crap! All right, so yeah, time for the race. Okay. Alright. Wow, I'm really surprised at how well I'm doing. I'd imagine if I was in a worse car, I'd be dead last. So yeah, this is a bit tricky. Especially since I am really not used to having to drive with a keyboard. Yeah. So yeah, we're in need for speed mode here. Uh, yeah, commentary won't be the best here because racing in general requires a great deal of concentration. Shit. A great deal of concentration because I typically bump into corners and walls all the time. So I'm trying very hard not to accidentally. Uh, accidentally get blown up. That's actually the most common way I've lo I lost all most of my races in San Andreas and Vice City. It's just fucking blowing up like an idiot. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Alright, maintain control. Maintain control. Okay. Okay. Alright. Woo! Alright, I think I. I think I'm in the home stretch. Oh no, friggin' hell. Spinning. Wow! I don't see my competition anywhere. Like, after the first part where they just all bottlenecked, is. I, I haven't seen them at all. Is there AI bugged? going on Ah oh, jeez All right Yeah, n not behind me at all. Wow. That'd be hilarious if like there was a guy crossing like crossing this street that I that you earlier had to go through. Alright. This is really easy. Wow. I expected to have a lot more trouble with this. 
But I'm doing pretty well for myself, especially considering I'm driving on a keyboard. It'd be amazing to try actually drive a car this way. Or horrendous. Jesus, no! No, no. Fuck. Okay, now my car is in poor condition, but I won with an incredible time of 160 seconds. Alright, anyway, back to the phones. Okay. Let's come back. I scream. You scream, baby. I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but the sizable contents of my leather pants. A gang of no goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. They threatened the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice cream. Pick up the bomb I'd hidden in hardwood, hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds, and lure these fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key. I love that. It's like, lure these guys to their, to their doom with the jingly jingly. I'm actually, I, I actually don't remember how this works. Is it like the, is it like, um, <clears throat> is it like the, dang it, ah, screw it. Uh, is it like the eight ball missions or, ah, screw it. Is it like the eight ball missions or is it like, uh, or do I just throw the bomb when I'm driving? Okay. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I don't pick up a car here. I pick up the briefcase. <laughs> Alright, now find the ice cream van. Yeah, this <laughs> will reflect something I have to do later on, which is get the ice cream van, as I said. Yeah, it's a, it's a cross liberties. Uh, it's a cross liberties. Wait, where the fuck is it? Alright. I have seen it more than a few times around here. What? So yeah, uh, Mr. Whoopi. It's unfortunate that I have to blow this up. So yeah, apparently they found out a porn, porn stars in their neighborhood, and they're just like, "Hey, bro, give us money or cut off your dick." And as he said, threatened the wrong man. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know if my eyes were deceiving me, but that looks like a yakuza stinger. Or whatever, I think it's like Yakuza... I think it is called Yakuza Stinger. The... You don't really see Yakuza cars here at all. I'm actually quite surprised it's here. Either that or my eyes are going bad again. Not that far-fetched of an idea. Oh, by the way, you get pretty good... Uh, pretty... Uh, pretty reasonable ice cream music if you just horn really quick. Probably could have phrased that better. Oh yeah, I forgot that you could have this type of bomb too. It looks like actual mafia members. This is the most well-dressed parade of children I've ever seen. Anyway, let's go back and accept more phone missions. Uh, actually, let's start going with a f with uh. I'm actually gonna just show a fast forward of probably the most monotonous of all the side quests in this game. Like, as much as it might be seem really dull to like look around just for car models. That's engaging at least, because you have to be able to recognize cars, you know. But uh, what I'm about to do is pretty dull after a while, and that is the 100 pa uh, taxi passengers mission. I've seen the speedrun version of this, and even that one's really dull. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just going to say right now, I'm not going to show all, three, all of these. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna activate it and show you like two or three of them but yeah all you do is basically play taxi man you pick up people and then you take them to a destination you have to pick up another person by a certain time period or 
the mission's over. But then again, you can just keep starting. And then a big issue is asshole-ish placement like that, where things are behind walls and people won't accept being able, having to walk around. Alright. So yeah, that's basically it. Just look for affairs and pick people up. Take them to where they want to go. So yeah. Uh, I guess like once I'm done here, I guess that's gonna have to be it for this part of Let's Play. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's gonna have to be it for this part of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3 100%. Because I'm not gonna show going to 100, all right? I'm just gonna like have you guys, I'm just gonna say to you guys, okay, Next time I'll be back, I'll already have 100, because this is going to take forever. So see you guys then.